Okay, I'm going to show you how to install and use the add-on Music Snippet. Music Snippet was made uh, by the company Flat.io, and it was originally called Flat for Docs. Um, in June 2022, they did a rebrand and did some amazing updates, and now we have what's known as Music Snippet. If you already had Flat for Docs installed in Google Slides and Google Docs, it's automatically transparent formed over to Music Snippet. You don't need to do anything different. If you don't have it installed yet, I'm going to show you what to do. So first thing you'll look for is your add-ons menu. If you are in Google Docs on a personal um, Gmail, personal account, it might also be called the extensions menu, but you're going to find add-ons and you'll scroll down to get add-ons. From there, you will search for Music Snippet. Now, I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it. You would simply click here, click on install, and you would be able to install that. It'll ask for permission to use your Google account. That's all fine. You can, you can say yes to all of those things. So let's go back over to our Google Slides now, and we're going to actually use Music Snippet. So click on your add-ons menu once again, or again, if you're in Docs, you might say extensions. Scroll down to Music Snippet, and we're going to open. What you'll see on the right hand side is this little pop up window. Now, if you have a flat for education account, you can sign into that account and unlock even more features here within the add on. If you don't have a flat for education account, don't worry, you can still use it. So we'll select new music snippet. And now you have five different options of what kind of staff to create a single, two staff, guitar tab, ukulele tab, or an unpitched if you're doing like classroom instruments, unpitched percussion, stuff like that. I'm going to click on single staff and here is the editor. So the editor looks basic, but honestly it has almost all the tools that you could possibly need. You can have all different note values. Um, you can have different accidentals, um, changing durations, transposing, changing octave. There's even copy, cut, paste, all of that good stuff. So to add notation, I can simply click on the note and I'm going to go over to my staff and I will just click to add pitches to the staff. It's that simple. Now I could also use my computer keyboard and just by typing, I can also insert the notes, which is nice. Um, if I wanted to change the value of the note, so I've highlighted that C, it can go up and I can either click on the half note, or if you notice the number two is in parentheses next to half, if I press the number two on my computer keyboard, it turns it into a half note. So there's quite a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you can use that'll make entering notation really fast. Um, again, it, it's a, it is a pretty robust editor considering it's just an add-on. You have all different articulations you can add, ornaments, dynamics, the measures can be manipulated, add measures, uh, change the key signature, time signature, change the clef, repeats. Um, you can even add text, whether that's going to be chords, you know, annotations, lyrics, things like that. So once you're happy with your composition, if you go back to the beginning, you can hit the play button to play it. So you can listen to what you've created and to insert it, simply click add to document and you will see there it is. So your notation, your snippet has been added to your slides or your doc. Now notice right now it's an image file. I can move it around. I can change the size, things like that. I can't edit it. If I had, um, the flat for education account, I would be able to edit this snippet, but that's not a feature I have right now. Um, so if I wanted to change something, I would have to start again, but honestly, that's such a minor thing. So a music snippet is going to be good for something like this, adding a short musical passage to your, your slides or your doc. You're not going to be completing full band arrangements, you know, writing symphonies or anything like that. But as far as inserting something small, making flashcards, doing short, you know, four to eight measure exercises for the students to work on, having students create short melodies, things like that. It's really a great tool. And the fact that you don't have to leave Google at all makes it totally worthwhile. So I can highly recommend checking out the add-on music snippet.